Mina and Mikhail have been friends since childhood. They lived in the same village and attended the same school. They sat together at the same desk. Applied to the same university. And their story was one of many across the country. Childhood friendship turned into love. And they, young and naive, hoped for a bright future together as they held hands on their way to Moscow. However, things didn't go as planned. Mikhail got accepted into the university. But Mina failed her exams. Mikhail had a dormitory. But Mina did not. Don't worry, dear, we'll figure it out, Mikhail said. Nevertheless, Mina had to solve her problems on her own as Mikhail was already quite busy. She didn't want to go back home in disgrace. And she didn't want to leave Mikhail alone in Moscow. Especially among so many pretty girls. Mina immediately noticed how the city girls looked at Mikhail. Considering him a tall and handsome guy. The city girls were materialistic. And what angered Mina the most was seeing Mikhail's eyes sparkle in front of so many girls. As if she were the only one in his life. She wouldn't let him stay here alone. Mikhail's parents would do everything they could to keep him in the capital. Honestly. They didn't like Mina. Even though they were also from the countryside. They always considered themselves superior. They insisted that Mikhail should at least marry a girl from a wealthy family. But Mina was not an orphan. Even though she was raised by her grandmother alone. She didn't believe her grandmother's words from the beginning. She always followed Mikhail around the village. Selecting from among these few girls. Only three in total. And none of them stood out in any special way. Katya couldn't stand Mikhail. And Olga was also a unique presence. She stood out because her parents were alcoholics. But she was born very healthy. So among all the village girls. There weren't really many options. When Mikhail's parents accepted Mina at the time. Mikhail's mother was overjoyed when Mikhail. Decided to apply to the university in the capital. Now she no longer hid her dislike for Mina. And her disdain for her orphan status. Mikhail is going to study in the capital. And will find a partner of equal status, she said. There's no need to hide it anymore. Well, I've decided to go with Mikhail to the capital. Even though I actually have no intention of going there and I'm not prepared. Mina responded. Yes, you should follow him. Just like a thread follows a needle. Her grandmother told her. Mina's life was not easy. She found a job as a cleaner and rented a room on the outskirts of Moscow. She rarely saw Mikhail. But when they met in the evenings, he always comforted her. Telling her that everything would get better. Anyway. When Mikhail was in his fourth year of college. He was allowed to move into family housing. And they decided to get married. They had a simple student wedding. But when Mikhail's mother heard the news. She was very dissatisfied. You seem to be doing really well now. She said to Mina's grandmother. She understood that Mikhail's parents didn't like the young couple's decision. And she always made jokes about it. Although everything seemed to be going smoothly. Mikhail's life in Moscow didn't seem to be going well. Despite graduating with excellent grades. Everything in Moscow seemed to be disappointing for him. Mina had completely forgotten about herself and devoted herself wholeheartedly to the family. Mina provided Mikhail with a comfortable and warm home. But for some reason. Mikhail couldn't find a job in Moscow. Shortly afterward, they were asked to move out of family housing. So they decided to return to the countryside. It was at this point that the real problems began to surface. Mikhail's mother blamed all the problems on Mina. She believed that if it weren't for her, none of this would have happened. 
However, the situation would have been different without Mina as well. Mikhail thought that if there had been another Moscow girl nearby, everything would have been different. But who stopped Mikhail from seeking out another Moscow girl? It was Mina, who had followed Mikhail to the capital. She didn't give him any independent space. And Mikhail felt like he was living with his mother-in-law in such an environment. Young people couldn't tolerate it. And Mikhail's mother said she wouldn't tolerate this arrogant girl entering her home. Mikhail also couldn't live with Mina's grandmother. So they decided to live separately. But it wasn't an ideal situation. In this state of separation, Mikhail and Mina's relationship and love were both in jeopardy. Mikhail's mother constantly urged him to divorce. Telling him it wasn't too late to start over and even implying that this girl might get pregnant. She would make an effort to find a suitable fiancé for her son. According to Village Gossip, Mikhail's mother had been actively searching for a suitable girl for years. But what happened next was her worst fear, Mina became pregnant. Sparking a heated argument. Mikhail's mother placed all the blame on Mina. Accusing her of being a witch who had used magic to make her son have a child. After many years of infertility, Mikhail and Mina had a child as soon as Mikhail found a suitable partner. Regardless, it was clear that the child was not Mikhail's. Mikhail's mother no longer hid the fact that her son had a wealthy and beautiful fiancé. The daughter of a millionaire. Who would bring happiness to Mikhail. Under this immense pressure, the relationship between Mina and Mikhail deteriorated to an irreparable extent. Mikhail openly admitted that he wanted a divorce. Would you abandon a pregnant woman? Mina asked. Leaving Mikhail torn between not wanting to be the villain but also craving an escape to live with his wealthy fiancé in the capital. Every time Mikhail tried to have a serious discussion about divorce and resolving the issues, she would ask, What if I die during childbirth? Like my mother did. What will happen to the child? Mikhail would reply, I will take care of him, and then he would leave, torn inside. Things became even worse after their son was born. Mikhail's mother loudly claimed that the child was not Mikhail's. Although Mikhail couldn't deny the child's resemblance to him. Finally, Mikhail gave up and initiated the divorce proceedings. But divorce was not that simple. Mina had thought that the birth of the child would change everything. But that was not the case. Mikhail and his millionaire girlfriend still decided to get married. They believed the child wasn't worth their attention because he had no connection to Mikhail. Mikhail's new grandmother, who had never once come to see her grandson, passed by arrogantly, showing no interest. Their wicked plan was as follows, they needed to make Mina take a large dose of sleeping pills and then bury her. They carried out this plan. And Mikhail decided to appear in a conciliatory manner to see his son. Even though it had been eight months. Mina didn't want reconciliation. She just wanted her child to have a legal father. The story ends with Mina falling asleep. Whatever happened. Mikhail looked at his son and then left. The next morning. Mina did not wake up. The doctor checked her pulse and declared her dead. So preparations for her burial began. Mina's grandmother was immersed in grief. But she had to take care of the child. She cried softly. Trying to crawl into her granddaughter's coffin. But few people attended the funeral on the day it took place. For Mikhail and his millionaire girlfriend. They held an engagement party at home. And not a single relative showed up at the funeral. They treated the funeral as a festive occasion. With only a few workers and a couple of acquaintances in attendance. However. As soon as the coffin was placed in the grave. 
The baby suddenly wriggled free from Mina's grandmother's feeble hands and followed his mother into the grave. He tried to break free. Clawing at the coffin lid like a small animal. Scratching until his nails were bloody and the flesh was mangled. Wait, stop burying her. They heard an old woman say. The child won't let his mother be buried. He doesn't understand anything yet. He can only sense, the grandmother shouted. Open the coffin. They opened the coffin and found Mina still alive. Though very weak. She was still breathing. The sleeping pills hadn't affected her too much. Allowing her to wake up inside. Only the little baby sensed his mother's life. So. Thanks to this child. The only one who didn't believe Mina was dead. She survived. After all this. She could no longer tolerate Mikhail. Why would her child need such a father? Shortly afterward, she met a man who loved her and her son. He treated the little boy as his own and quickly brought Mina back home as she was already pregnant with their second child. Her life became much better compared to Mikhail and the millionaire girlfriend. Mikhail never truly became the millionaire girlfriend's husband. And they eventually parted ways. Just a brief chapter in his life. Mina and her new partner lived happily in the village. Mikhail's mother regretted divorcing Mina multiple times. But it was too late. The mistake had already been made. That's the end of this story. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, like and click the bell icon so you don't miss new videos. Wishing you all the best. The couple saw that their dog kept barking at the woman in front of them which made them very puzzled. In order to find out the truth of the matter, they installed surveillance at home. But they did not expect that they saw a picture that made them extremely angry. In the end what happened? Why do dogs keep barking at women? Dogs love for their owners is always sincere and warm. Although they don't express emotions in complex ways like humans, they will still bravely show their loyalty and bravery when their owners face danger. Just like like this brave dog below. This young couple has just moved to a small town in Charleston. The man's wife has just given birth to a healthy and lovely boy. He and his wife needed a large, quiet and comfortable home to welcome their newest addition to the family. They are very excited. But since they have just moved here, the couple have a lot to do. So they need to hire a nanny to take care of their young son. They conducted a very rigorous social survey on the selected nannies, including their work experience and their backgrounds, and also asked about the evaluation of previous employers. According to the final results, they found a very suitable one and the lady with a very good evaluation. This 21-year-old lady. She is young and energetic. And she used to work as a nanny. After hiring this young nanny, the man and his wife watched her get along with their children very happily. She would patiently tidy up the toys for the baby, teach him how to play little by little, and protect the baby in her arms. Prevent your baby from touching anything that could hurt him. Everything went well. And the couple got along very well with the nanny. They thought the nanny was very gentle and well-educated. But things slowly began to change. And after the nanny had been working for the family for about a few months. It seemed the family's loyal family dog wanted to remind his owner of something. This dog is a black-backed dog mixed with a German Shepherd. His personality is very docile and friendly. Since the baby was born, he has served as the baby's little bodyguard. The baby likes to be close to it very much. Recently, however, the man and wife have noticed a very drastic change in their dog's personality. The dog who used to rest in the yard before began to stand frequently at the door. 
staring at the surrounding environment vigilantly. And whenever the nanny at home approached the baby, the dog put on a defensive posture and stood in front of the baby, and then became angry growl at the nanny, and the hair on its neck stands on end. The husband and wife were very surprised why the dog suddenly hated the nanny so much. Seeing the dog yelling at the nanny frantically, they understood that something was wrong. They tried to stop the angry dog. But the dog remained aggressive until the man had to restrain the dog, which stopped the dog's impulsive behavior. The man was very disturbed. After the nanny left, the dog lay down under the table in frustration. It didn't understand why the owner wanted to stop it. But then the owner called it out. They looked at the aggrieved dog and made a very correct decision. The couple decided to put a mobile phone under the sofa for recording. And then bought monitoring equipment and installed it in a hidden place. They need to record footage and audio when they are not at home to find out why the dog hates the sitter so much. However, when the wife turned on the monitoring and recording equipment, she was shocked and angry by the images and audio recorded. After they left home, the baby cried for seven and a half hours. At first, the nanny sat in the living room, and the baby seemed to be having a nightmare. He opened his eyes suddenly and didn't find anyone he was familiar with. So he started crying. He was so pitiful and helpless. But the crying made the nanny on the side go crazy. She actually used words to hurt such a small baby. And the words she said were very ugly. At this time, the dog who heard the movement rushed over. It saw the nanny who was trying to hurt the baby. And rushed forward angrily. Protected the baby behind him and then bared his teeth to scare the nanny in front of him, seeing that the dog was so fierce. The nanny was afraid that the dog would really charge up, so she could only leave reluctantly. Afterwards, the baby seemed to be tired, stopped crying, and fell asleep obediently lying in the crib. The dog lay beside the baby's bed and acted as the baby's bodyguard. Unexpectedly, the cruel nanny left the baby alone hours in the crib. After some time, the sound from the recording terrified the wife and husband. The baby woke up and found that there was no one around him, and started crying in fear. The helpless crying of the baby made the couple very sad. Then, they saw the nanny walking towards the baby with heavy steps, and the dog bravely approached the nanny. He ran over, yelling as he ran, unexpectedly. The nanny blocked the dog, then quickly walked to the baby, and began to touch the baby. There was a terrible sound and the barking of the dog in the recording. Shut up. The nanny warned the baby impatiently with the dog. The couple couldn't believe that this was the nanny's behavior to a child who was only a few months old. Then the nanny began to shake the baby's crib vigorously in the surveillance screen. The dog tried to drive the nanny out of the room. But the nanny was very flexible. After passing its movements, he shook the bed vigorously while dodging. The baby bumped back and forth in the crib with the nanny's movements. And the cry of fear at first turned into a cry of pain. The dog was very angry and drove the nanny out of the room with all his strength. And rushed all the way to the gate. The nanny cursed the dog and left with her belongings. The men couldn't bear to watch it anymore. They hoped that they could use this device to go back to the time before the incident. Arrest this vicious woman. And then go to comfort their poor son. After watching the surveillance video. The couple immediately rushed home and took their poor baby to the hospital. After careful examination by the doctor, they found that the baby's physical condition was not bad. Just a little frightened. 
Afterwards, the couple notified the police. At first, the police did not find anyone in the nanny's residence. But after careful searching, they finally caught the escaped prisoner. After the police officer interrogated the nanny, the nanny confessed to what she had done. She admitted all her crimes. And finally, the cruel nanny was sentenced by the court to a maximum of three years in prison. Thanks to the brave dog who reminded his owner. The couple's baby was successfully rescued and other babies were saved from the woman's bullying. In the end, the owner of the dog is very grateful to the hero dog, who is not only a good companion, but also their son's protector and savior. Proof that not all heroes wear capes, sometimes wear furry coats, walk around everyone, and dogs who sniff out evil from crowds can be great heroes too. Animals also have complex emotions and consciousness such as happy, anger, sorrow, joy, sadness, thought, and fear. Although the language of animals is different from that of humans, and they cannot communicate with humans through language, sometimes we can use their behavior and expressions to communicate. And many animals have a stronger sixth sense than humans. Therefore, Animals can feel the kindness and malice of human beings. Just like the dog in the story, it is precisely because of its reminder that the owner can discover the vicious behavior of the nanny. Well, this is the end of this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. So see you next time.